Have you ever wondered whether or not bras serve any purpose whatsoever aside from differentiating between getting to first and second base? I have all of the answers to all of the bra related questions that you might have since we were speaking in baseball terms. I'd call that a home run. Up until the bra came around, women had to wear things called corsets, super unhealthy for our rib cages and our intestines that were being squeezed. As Victorian era fashions began to give way, in came the brassiere. For you grammar nerds out there, the term brassiere entered the English language in 1893 when a lot of people started filing different patents for breast supporters that lifted ye old boobs from the shoulders via bra straps as opposed to from the waist up as corsets did. Now in terms of who invented this foundation garment, this bra is actually the work of a lot of different people's patents for things like underwire, round cups, different types of shoulder strap adjustments, all of these different things that we probably take a lot for granted these days. So let's get down to some bra basics. First of all, what is up with the letters? The A in an A cup might stand for arbitrary because in 1932, the lingerie manufacturer SH and Company decided to just start labeling its cup sizes using letters of the alphabet. The letter corresponds to the cup, which corresponds to the breast size. The number, though, corresponds to the circumference of your rib cage. Now the follow-up question is, well, Kristen, what bra size do you wear? None of your beeswax, but I will say the A in my book stands for awesome. Can I high-five myself? The next question is, scientifically speaking, do bras serve any purpose. And the quick answer here is no. Bras do nothing to stop breast ptosis. Boob sag. And guys, you also have breasts. Don't forget about that. Ptosis can happen to you. There is one kind of bra that does serve a very important purpose for protecting the breasts, the sports bra. In 1977, two women got together and invented the sports bra, such as the kind that I'm holding up here. Don't mind the deodorant stains. The sports bra was invented by sewing two jock straps together. Scientists have done all this research on how boobs move when we jog, play badminton, tackle football, lacrosse, and they have found that breasts can go up and down with such force that it can break our clavicle. You can break your own breastbone with your own breasts. I don't know if that would be an example of irony, but it feels like it has a touch of it. Some guys also wear sports bras when they are running to avoid something wonderfully called jogger's nipple. If you are running and you're wearing a shirt and you start to sweat and things start to chafe, you can get bloody nipples. So guys, if you're experiencing some nipple chafe, you might want to consider a sports bra. And finally, what does the future of bras hold three words. Bigger, bigger, and bigger. In the United States, according to statistics from the company Playtex, the average bra size has gone up from a 34B to a 36C in the past 10 plus years. If you wanna take that as good news, go ahead. All I'm saying is for smaller chested women, Finding a good fitting bra might be getting a little bit harder. Guys, if you feel like bras are some kind of conundrum and you can't figure them out, you are not alone. Eight out of 10 women are wearing the wrong sized bra. That probably means that I'm sitting here in an incorrectly sized bra that's making my boobs look really stupid. So clearly, when it comes to bras, everybody has a little something to learn. And it's a good thing that you came here so that I can answer all of your questions, even though I realize that I should probably now go out and get measured for a correctly fitting bra.